It's Bob! You look like a popcorn! What do you think? It was saying hello in South dialect here. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I will be showing you how to make tom uan mu. Tom is boiling, uan is the way of fermenting, and mu is pork. So this recipe is quite simple and has been cooking for already for a long time. My grandpa, grandma generation, and the dish. You can only find in Koh Samui and Koh Phangan in this area, and everyone. The important part of preparation of this dish is fermented pork. So we choose to use the head. So this one just right in front of me already. So why we shoot the head? Because the the head from pig has quite. Uh, unique. I mean, uh, a chewy texture and a bit hard, and at the same time a bit soft, and also it's no fat. As we know already, that the fermentation process or fermentation uh, method to just less enzyme to break out the muscle protein. There's no fat needed. So this recipe I have learned from my auntie. So before the pig is being fermented. They will have to grill a little bit to get a smoky flavor, and then later we'll ferment it with ground roasted rice. I have a uh, raw rice here, one cup, and then like always is crystal sauce. So let me prepare fire. And now I'm going to wash my clock. And now time to grill. I just grill without seasoning, without sauce, no sauce, no pepper, no oil. So the pork post to grill is that to have a smoky flavor and also a little bit crispy outside um, on the skin of the pork. Yes, everyone. I can see already the skin start to get brown and will be ready soon. Everyone, the green pork is just ready. So I saw it look nice brown, and also on the other side, just look crispy and brown. And now I'm gonna let it for a while. So I'm going to hang up there. We'll see you later. Let it dry for a while, and then I will cut into small pieces and then marinate with salt. And now this is how it looks like my grill pork after grill, and I let it dry for one hour. It looks nice brown. And now I'm gonna gonna clean a little bit. Clean. I mean, I'm going to just use towel to clean a little bit of the dust when I was grilling the pork. So okay, it's ready. So I'm gonna start it from here. Wow, inside it's juicy, and outside it's crispy. You guys have a look. You see all the layer from the pork. So first, I'm going to slice this. and then in the small pieces. Wow, it look nice. Very juicy inside. Mm. 
Look at this, everyone. Soft and juicy and crispy. I'm gonna taste this one piece. Wow. Mmm. So tasty, even I didn't add any seasoning at all. Everyone, when I cut it, I have to make sure so each single piece is quite thin because when marinated, so the salt will come through the whole pieces of the meat. This is gonna show you one. This is how thin it is. Okay, everyone, I got already the right amount of meat for fermented pork, and now I'm going to ground a crystal salt. So just one teaspoon of the crystal salt in a mortar and now I'm going to powder and next step here we come and from now on I'm going to put them in the muslin so this kind of muslin why do I have to put them in muslin to prevent the dry air coming in and also to drain the maybe a little bit of water that might still in a, each single pieces of pork okay okay and now I will put in the room temperature I will continue with the second step with the ground roasted rice see you tomorrow Hello, back again. Today is day two after my pork been fermented already 24 hours. And today I'm going to continue uh, doing the second step of fermentation. So let me see the pork how it look like. So getting a bit soft, yeah. <laughs> and of course smell like fermented pork. <laughs> and okay guys, rice next to me. I got two bowls of rice that I'm going to roast them so I'm gonna roast them separately so the first one the white rice I was showing you already yesterday because I thought I'm gonna use just the white one but I've got changed my mind I'm going to mix white rice and the rice with the, the hard steel on so the unpeeled rice which is gonna give a more aroma into the pork so first of all I'm going to prepare fire <laughs> to roast them Okay, now the fire is ready. I will just start now. So let heat the wok a little bit before I will start to add the rice in. That's pretty fast. So one handful of white rice. That's it. That should be enough for the amount of the pork. And I'm just keep moving around all the time to make sure each single uh, rice grain will get brown at the same time all right guys the rice is ready so each single rice grain turned brown completely so I'm gonna move now from the heat and cool down the temperature for a while oh, it looks nice golden brown also very nice aromatic and now I'm going to continue roasting the unpeeled rice also the same amount of just one of my handful so this one gonna take a bit longer than the first one because the because of the heart I have to keep roasting on the low heat otherwise it's gonna be like a barbecue rice <laughs> everyone I roast them separately so from white one and the unpeeled one because of the time frame so the unpeeled rice is gonna take a bit longer time to get each single uh, grain to get aromatic from it and also the color oh yeah ready I got the aromatic from it so I'm gonna move from the heat and then cool down for a couple minutes 
So next step, I'm going to ground the this one. Now I'm gonna start it to grind until all together get really fine texture. You guys can see is this look really fine texture look like a rice powder already. So I'm gonna move it to the plate right here and then continue grinding the other one. Woo! Oh Ooh, wow 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 <laughs> This is also very good So next one is coming Okay now the second one is also ready It looks pretty fine So I'm going to also move it right here next to each other so and you can see the, the contrast of the color of both rice looks nice <laughs> so cool and now i'm going to mix everything together in the mixing bowl so my pork and the ground roasted rice and the ground roasted rice has together so first of all pork gonna go in here we come and now I'm going to equal uh, both of ground roasted rice and the ground roasted rice husk. So equal and then just mix them. Wow, it's very strong, it's very powerful. I mean the aromatic from both ground uh, roasted rice. Wow, everyone, it's so cool. This is very aromatic. Very ar romantic. No, <laughs> aromatic. <laughs> Alright, guys, the fermentation process involves pork and sauce and rice. So, sauce stimulates the enzymes, and together with rice, contributes uh, yeast and bacteria. So, it's starting to boost the process together. So, from now on, I'm going to leave it in my room temperature for two more days, and we'll see you in two days. Hi guys, I'm here at my parents' house because today is a cooking day so my fermented pork is just ready to cook and because in the soup one of the ingredients was uh, cucumber tree fruit Are you guys curious? So I'm going to steal uh, fruit from my dad, nobody home, let's go! Here guys, the tree called cucumber tree fruit so this kind of tree found in South America for somewhere around along the coast in Brazil and Jamaica for example also in Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, also in Thailand so here in Thailand we find them a lot especially in the south part of Thailand because we use them to cook a lot and you know once we start to grow the little tree it will take uh, two to three years to get our first fruit and also the tree could grow up to five meter high And you guys, normally the tree is blooming in November and December and it will take uh, January, February, March so then we can pick the fruit already to cook. So the fruit itself looks pretty much like cucumber and this is I think why they call cucumber tree. So I'm gonna pick one. Can you imagine how it tastes like? I realize German people say um, sour makes lustig. <laughs> so sour makes funny. <laughs> I agree. I'm gonna pick some of them and then I will put into my tom uh, mu to have a little bit of sour flavor in the soup.
everyone I got more than enough uh, already the fruit so I'm gonna go back home now already because otherwise my parents came back home so let's go home and cooking Hi guys, I just got back from my parents' home and I would like to show you we also have the same tree, cucumber tree fruit at our home. So let me show you just right behind me. This one, but it's still too young. It's just about eight months old and we still have to wait for another almost two years to come and then we're gonna have our own fruit. So and also if we well treat the tree so we're gonna have like whole year round season so we don't have to steal from my dad anymore <laughs> so guys let's go cooking so finally it's time to cook it took me three days to get my pork ready and now i would like to introduce you one more time what i got all the ingredients so for tom wen mu here in this bowl of fermented pork they look pretty nice so it's done very well so this nice color brown from the ground roasted rice and the ground roasted rice hearts and like gummy you know gummy and soft at the same time very interesting mm -hmm. tastes good as well next one is you guys still remember how it's called in Thai koi <laughs> I'm gonna get a salty flavor from it it is shrimp paste uh, chili here you can see those little uh, chili, they are fire. Uh, next one is lemongrass, they're really fresh. And the, in this little jar is tamarind, so to get another touch of uh, sourness. And also this is what I got from my parents' home, so cucumber tree fruit. Also gonna have a sour nut. And shallots and garlic, so today I'm gonna use both. What else? Ah, oh, one more thing left is a uh, soup base. It's just water. Let's get started. Everyone, they are different size of uh, the cucumber tree fruit. So some of them, they are quite small. I'm gonna put the whole fruit in, but some of them, they are like this size, for example. So I will cut here the bottom and then just cut it in half. So to have a nice flavor, doesn't get too strong when you eat it. And everyone, this is actually the final size of a cucumber tree fruit. It is just about to four to five centimeters. So now all the ingredients are prepared. Let's start it. Water is boiling. I'm going to start with lemongrass, shallot, and garlic. And a piece of tamarind. And a teaspoon of koi. <laughs> Dream paste. And I gotta cover so a bit a few minutes. So, to get the aroma from all the herbs. I can smell already, so the aroma start to blow all over my garden. <laughs> A bit too much. So I'm going to continue to add my fermented pork. So all the way in, so just one portion. So. And now I will let it cook just uh, 
and then a few minutes so and then a few minutes carbon chili and the cucumber tree fruit I'm gonna put it later before I'm going to remove the pot because I'm not going to cook them too long just leave them crunchy and also chili I will have them just for a, a little bit touch a small touch of the spiciness just a little bit spiciness in it so I'm gonna taste my soup now oh yeah quite salty and um, anyway it's gonna be a good timing because now I'm going to add the cucumber tree fruit you know in Thai call I didn't tell you at all in Thai we have a name is Ta Ling Bling because it is sour it's gonna have a very good balance from saltiness and sourness and also I'm not gonna cook the fruit so long because as long as the soup still warm it will be cooked anyway so last thing so last ingredient I'm gonna throw my chilies in it will be a bit spicy in it look colorful already do you guys see the ling bling starts to change the color from green to yellow so that's mean it's time to remove from the heat so now I'm excited to eat the soup it is ready done is there anyone wanna join me? It's a perfect timing for my lunch now and I have been waiting for this for three days. I'm really looking forward to this. So let's start. Voila! It is sour, salty and light spicy. So you get a really first kick of the sourness from Daling Bling. Ah, in South dialect we call mung mang. <laughs> it sounds funny. So I'm gonna go for the next bite. So in one single bite, I'm gonna get everything. So chili, pork, and um, sour cucumber or the ling bling or mung mang whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just so hungry. Here you guys have a look. So I got everything from the soup. Now. the freshness from the lemongrass and the very strong aromatic from the brown roasted rice it is really cool so amazing how the nature flavor combined and balanced everything it just the perfect portion so i'm going to find oh this piece is really interesting are you curious what it is this is the most favorite part when i eat these soups let me show you this one, <laughs> the ear. <laughs> Can you hear this? It's crunchy. It's kind of gummy and crunchy and it's soft at the same time. Really cool. And now I will eat it with rice a little bit more. So. Lots of meat, shallots and chilies and the ear. <laughs> so got everything. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? I can really feel the the smoky flavor from the pork. Absolutely amazing. Mmm. I can eat this soup every day. happy now okay everyone time to say goodbye I'm so full now from drinking out of my soup <laughs> thank you so much for watching and thank you for staying with me today I hope you like Tom one more <laughs> if you like it give me a thumb up we'll see you next time bye